good afternoon. I'm really excited today because I have got some special little pets that I'm going to be showing to you. And it's a little pet that we have in our house that's also in our book. Would you like to see? Well, earlier on in the week, I showed you this page. And on this page, we've got a creature called a stick insect. And we know he's an insect because it's got six legs. Can you see them all on there? Six legs. And stick insects don't live in the wild in our country. You won't see them when you're out and about on your walks because they like to live in places where it's warm all the time. It would be too cold for them here and they would die. But you can keep them as pets inside your house. And we have got two different types of these stick insects that live with us in our house. And the first one looks a little bit like the one in our story. And actually, they're very special, these ones, because all of them lay eggs. So all of the stick insects are girls and boys at the same time, because they can make and lay eggs. So my little stick insect has laid lots of eggs at the bottom of his tank, and it's just over here. So my stick insect likes to eat brambles, and we can go out and find brambles outside quite easily. So we bring them inside and we put them in a little pot with some water and then my stick insect is very, very happy. It doesn't need much looking after at all. Would you like to see it? Okay, so I'm calling it him, but it's actually him or her, isn't it? So look, should I bring it closer so you can see? So this is our little stick insect called Sticky. And he actually looks a lot like a stick, doesn't he? And if I turn my hand upside down, can you see he clings on using his six legs? There he is, look, crawling along. And he's got, I don't know if you can see, but he's got little red bits right at the front there. His legs, which means it's a grown up one. And I have to be very gentle with my stick insects. They're very, very cute. They never bite, they don't do anything to hurt you, but I have to be careful because I don't want to hurt his legs. So here, look, there he is munches away at those leaves and then we can get him out and hold him and watch him crawl along whenever we would like to. So this is our first stick insect. I'm going to pop Sticky just back in here on his leaves. There we go. We'll be nice and happy there. We usually have a lid on our tank but I've just taken it off to show you. And would you like to see whereabouts in our world those stick insects come from? Well, the ones like that and the one in our story, they are Indian stick insects. And they come all the way from a country called India. I'll show you where it is on our map. So we're up here in the United Kingdom, living in Wales. And India is all the way over here. So I'm going to draw a line, whee, from India all the way, oops, to where we live. So there we go. Now, that stick insect never lived in India. That stick insect was born from an egg here. So lots and lots of years ago, people must have brought some eggs over from India and the stick insects hatched out. So that one's never been to India. It's always lived here and it's quite happy in a nice warm house. So that's our first stick insect. Now in here, we've got another very, very special one. I just knocked the tank, but I just checked and she's fine. Now actually, this one is a girl. These kind of insects, you can tell which ones are girls and which ones are boys because the boy ones, when they're grown up, actually have wings. And this is a leaf insect. I wonder what this one looks like, what do you think? Now they can't live together because the stick insect there would think the leaf insect was a leaf and it would try to eat it. So they have to live in their own tanks, but this one here is a leaf insect. On. She's quite big, this one. See if I can get her out. She's very gentle as well. She never do anything to hurt us. See if I can get her very carefully. Here she comes. So here is our leaf insect. There she is. Can you see? Isn't she lovely? Now she has tiny little wings, but she can't fly. There she is. And she's lifting 
her leaf tail up at the back. Look, can you see? She might be a little bit scared because I've just got her out, but look at the patterns on her. She looks exactly like a leaf. So she's really, really well camouflaged actually, because if a creature came along that wanted to eat her, they would just think she was a normal leaf and they wouldn't try, would they? There she is. And she's very happy crawling along too, just like this. There she is. And she eats brambles, just like the stick insect we were looking at. Isn't she cute? She's looking at you, can you see? Right, well I'm gonna pop her back into her tank now. Let's pop her back on her brambles, there we go. Being very gentle again. There you go quite happy in there and she comes from a country a long way away and again she's never been to this country but this kind of leaf insect come from somewhere called the Philippines and that's some little islands right over here so when the first leaf insects came they came all the way from the Philippines over there so there it's even further away isn't it what a long way these special creatures have come. And wow, aren't we lucky to have them and to be able to look after them. Well, I'm gonna pop them down there now. I love looking at our stick insects. So I'm going to choose them for some work that we're going to be doing today. I'm going to move my map out of the way and I'll show you what it is. There we go. Just put my lids back on my tanks so that my little stick insect and leaf insect don't creep out. There we go. Right, well today I thought it would be nice if we could do a little bit of writing about one of our insects that we found in our story, or if there's one that you found that isn't in here, you could choose to do that one. So I'm going to do mine all about my Indian stick insect. So what sound does stick insect begin with? What do you think? Stick insect. That's right, it's a s Now, if you're one of my reception boys and girls, have a go at using your Fred fingers to see if you can hear any other sounds in the words we're writing. So, s t t Oh, can you hear that? T t t tower. Down the tower, across the tower. a curly k and a kicking k in there. Stick and then insect. I, I, I. What's insect begin with? I, I, I. I, I for insect, that's right. We've even got an insect on our picture cards, haven't we? Stick in in writing a little bit about your insect and you can finish off the writing with your own special writing. So I've put his legs are and I have to think of a way that I can describe his legs. What are his legs like? His legs are, hmm, I'm going to put his legs are thin and bendy. Hmm, I like that word bendy. His legs are thin and bendy. I finished that line, so I'll go to the beginning of the next one. B and bendy. Stop. The next one says his body is. Hmm. What was my stick insect's body like? Body is. Hmm, it's quite long, wasn't it? Long and green, long and green. His body is long and g -g green. Full stop at the end. He moves, how does he move? Does he move slowly or quickly or carefully? Hmm. He moves. I'm going to put slowly. 
because did you notice it was moving very slowly when it was on my hand? Slowly, slowly, slowly. I like him because, why do I like him? There's lots of reasons why I like him. I like him because he is interesting to watch. I like him because he is interesting to watch. What does watch begin with? Watch. Even got a ch 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 sound at the end. Watch. Well done. So I can read about my stick insect now. Stick insect. His legs are thin and bendy. His body is long and green. He moves slowly. I like him because he is interesting to watch. And then I haven't got much space, but definitely at the end, draw a picture of your insect, your mini beast that you're writing something about. So that's my piece of writing about my stick insect. So we're thinking of ways to describe things today. So have a little think if you can choose an insect or maybe a snail or maybe a spider and then see if you can write a little bit about yours this afternoon using your special writing. Remember, Diana. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.